Hello everyone, welcome to your virtual instructor. So today we are going to talk about Net Instance. So what is Net Instance? A Net Instance provides network address translation. So you can use the Net Instance when you want your resources uh, which are residing in a private subnet to communicate with the destinations which are outside your virtual private cloud, such as it could be the internet or it could be some resources on the on-premises network. So this is frequently required uh, when suppose you have some EC2 machine in your private subnet and you want to download the patches from the internet or you want to communicate the private EC2 instance with the outside world or to any third party software. So you can take the help of net instance. So though net instance is the outdated concept and today most organizations prefer to use Net Gateway, which is a managed service provided by AWS. But still, some, some organizations prefer to use Net Instance. So, this is a typical architecture which we are going to follow in today's lab. So, we are going to deploy a VPC, and inside the VPC, are, we are going to deploy the one public subnet and one private subnet. And we are going to deploy one Net Instance in the public subnet. Which is which, uh, which will be able to communicate to the outside world using the Internet Gateway. And also we'll be deploying one EC2 instance in the private subnet. And also there will be a one EC2 instance in the public subnet so that we can SSH into the our private EC2 instance. So let's jump into our lab for today. Here I'm in my AWS console. And if I go to the VPC dashboard, I already have my VPC deployed. This I deployed for AWS VPC lab. Also, I have two subnets already deployed and associated with this VPC. One is the private subnet and one is the public subnet. Private root table allows only the communication from the VPC and it is associated with private subnet. And public root table allows the communication from the VPC as well as from the outside world through the internet gateway and this table is associated with the, our public subnet. Also, if I go to the EC2 dashboard, so public EC2 is deployed in the public subnet and private EC2 is deployed in the private subnet. So let me connect to my private EC2 via my public EC2 machine. Okay, now I am able to connect to my public EC2. Now I will be connecting to my private EC2 instance. So I have already followed all these steps in my previous lab. So here I am connected to my private EC2 machine. If I go here, 145, and here you can see. The IP is ending with 145. Now let's deploy the net instance. For the AMI, click on browse and search for net. Go to the community AMI and you can go with any uh, with anyone with the verified provider and which has the configuration x86-64 and PayPal login I will be using the same network setting we will be deploying this in the public subnet as we saw it in the architecture we will be needing a public IP for this and we will be creating a new security group for this here I will be adding the few security rules so first will be SCDP and the source will be 
from the local VPC. Again, HTTPS. And again, source 20. The traffic from the VPC. And ICP to test the ping command. And source will be the local VPC. Click on the launch instance. Okay, so now our net instance is ready. Now we will go to the VPC dashboard and go to our root tables, go to the private root table, and here we will be adding one more root. So what is the whatever the traffic to the outside world that means to this outside range should be through the our net instance. Let's save the changes. Now let's try to ping. Okay, so we are not able to do because we forgot to do one more thing. So go to the EC2 instance. Select the net instance. Go to the action, networking, change source destination check. To use this machine as a net instance, we have to disable the source destination check. So you should be disabling the source destination checking when the source or destination is not itself and it is sending the traffic on some other instance behalf. Check the stop checkbox, click on save. Now let's try that. Now, as you can see, we can ping google.com. Now, if I do the curl, so you can uh, see the result of the curl from google.com. So, this marks the end of our lab. Now, let's remove our resources which we don't need it further. So, let's uh, terminate our net instance. Now go to the VPC, go to the root tables, go to the roots, and now go to the security groups. Okay, so this marks the end of our session today. So thank you for joining and I hope to see you in more videos. Thank you and have a good day ahead.